everybody, let's play Max Payne with Josh Picard. Wait, where is Marky Mark? Seriously, where the fuck is Marky Mark? Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, episode two of Let's Play Max Payne. I'm Josh Picard, and uh, we're just gonna keep going. We're uh, time to go back on the train. Yeah, still can't open that door. Damn. He hates these cans. Alright, enough wasting ammo. That's actually pretty cool how he reloads, though. It's like, uh, Neo from the Matrix. What the fuck? Oh. Surprised there's not another guy there. Just waiting for me. Okay. Um, oh, it was down another level. Yeah, that's right. Down here. We've got another train to go on. Okay. Pretty sure I've already been in here. Fuck, I hate it when I accidentally do that. Okay. Okay. Inspection car. Let's do this. That's a pretty good shot. Drive the fucking train. Don't worry about this. Okay, here we go. Wait. <laughs> He's just fucking standing there, doesn't even have his hands on the wheel. Oh, so amazing. much for being subtle. Amazing destruction animations. So much for being subtle. Okay. What are we looking for? Oh shit. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Man. I either really fucking suck, or you really, oh damn, use, oh fuck, back here, god damn dude, okay, I'm just gonna use the desert eagle, alright, totally remember to quick save this time. Fuck, man, that shit was intense. I cannot save the game. I the train. Let's watch that. Amazing. Destruction animation again. So much for being subtle. There we go. Now I'm prepared for this onslaught of three fucking people that destroyed me last time. Alright. Take a painkiller. Quick save the game. Just in case. Fuck around with my mouse options there. I think I'm good. Still can't open that from this side. Oh shit! Okay. Game froze on me there for a second. Oh, could I have blown that up the entire time? Okay, no. Oh shit. Chapter 2. I think it might be time to stop for it. <laughs> The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Um, I remember back in the day, I think if you like used a code and got a grenade, you could uh, throw it in here and then the, the rats would declare war on one another and uh, they would like fight each other with guns and uh, then they would fight for you if I remember correctly. Fuck! Quick save. I was too busy talking about rats. There is some leeway. I might 
be imagining it, but it does seem as if there is some leeway. When I aim, uh, I don't seem to be aiming on these guys, but yet they still die, which is fucking awesome. Thank you. What the hell? Maybe that has to do with the difficulty setting I'm on. Shit balls, dude. These guys are relentless. I like th when that happens because it usually means I'm done fighting guys. So quick save again. And uh, alright. I'm in like the sewers of the train station or is it just kind of wet because it's abandoned? I don't know. Jack Lapino, yeah, spooky. But also it's like the failure town is rising. I wouldn't joke about it if I was you. Fucking low on painkillers already. Let's take out the Beretta. Nothing. Can I beat these things with the pipe? Damn it, I just need fucking painkillers, man. I need them bad. Five. Oh shit. Right during an explosion. What the hell was that? That's a damn good question, Max. All done here. Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. <laughs> what the Thanks for saving me some time, bro. I was gonna jump out. Good thing I did. Ah, oh, some Desert Eagle ammo. Still not what I'm fucking looking for. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Okay, so I need a detonator for a bomb. Hey, yeah! Uh... Save. Don't worry, rats, I'll protect you from the scary men. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. F5. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be saving a lot. I just want you guys to know that. That's just how I fucking play. Like, I play very cautiously. Uh, mostly because I hate fucking doing shit all day. Hey, you're fucking kidding me. God damn it. <sighs> this is why... I'm on the easiest fucking difficulty, too. New York's finest. They're gonna be here, so... I Shit's different. Let's try the pump action. Two painkillers. <laughs> I'm already almost fucking dead again. Ah! Alright. At least 
that's it for now. My last painkiller. Quick save, I guess. Probably a bad idea. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. I guess you could have just been like, hey, I'm following a lead, Jim. It's me, Max. Um, don't worry, I got the situation under control. You know, could have done that, you fucking dumbass. Alright, uh... Oh my god, painkillers. Thank the fucking lord. Okay, now I'll quick save. And carry on. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Exposition, exposition. Quick save before I go into Vault A. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. And there's my detonator. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Go back there. Uh, quick save again. Yeah, most of this let's play is just going to be me quick saving. Uh, I hope you guys know that. Especially since, the, especially since the quick saving takes a little bit. Now they're throwing fucking grenades at me. Jesus fucking Christ. That is bullshit. Man. They fucking don't start this off easily. And I understand, like, this is a different generation of gaming. Uh, you could say nowadays uh, games hold your hand a lot more uh, to a certain degree. I agree with that. Uh, at the same time, however, some of this shit is a little fucking ridiculous, just like that. So. Oh, man. You guys get to see Josh Picard rage in full effect here. Get this is what I'm doing. Alright. What the fuck? How the fuck am I supposed to avoid that fucking grenade? Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Try things slightly. That's all right. He just kind of shrugs off. All right. Oh man. So apparently you're not supposed to play it safe. Apparently you're supposed to just run in, all gung ho, and fucking call it a day. No, I don't want to use the grenade. I want to use the detonator. And run away. If there are enemies in here, I'm going to be super pissed, because logically that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Uh, if I walk through that little... Hold yeah. it! Max! Jesus! You almost gave me a heart attack! Okay, I, I nearly shot you! Alex, I'm like, glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue! It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Oh god. Through the now you're station. about to die. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Gonna get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Oh... Alex? If it's Lupino, Alex! it's what? If it's Lupino, it's what? <laughs> there was nothing I could do. He was dead. 
I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. You can't see his eyes. What the fuck are you talking about? You're fucking kidding me. Okay, if there were other ways over here, why did I need this fucking detonator? Oh, you're fucking kidding me! I just quick saved you. Run, 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 run. How the fuck can these guys just shug off shotgun bullets? You're just like, oh, I got shot with a shotgun. Oh, well. I'll be okay. Seriously, dog, it's cool. Damn. Just trying to get some money. F5. I agree. Yeah. So much for getting the hell out of here, right? F5. Whack the sucker. Ah. I kind of want to do that again. I got hit way too much. Oh, painkillers right here. Cool beans. Alright, I'm gonna do some exploring. Probably not a good idea, but F5 just in case. And I'm gonna go around here, get a cold drink. Got real disoriented for some reason. Okay. And out I go. More sirens. F5. Although I am a cop, aren't I? I mean, wouldn't sirens mean a good thing for me? Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Alright, Jack Lupino. Not a good guy. Going into chapter three. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. <laughs> You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend who's or a asking? junk swap plan. The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino wow. ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. I don't like the sound of this. Pain in the butt. Ha <laughs> ha! Paint in a mat! You don't squat pain. Gotta take I already heard that joke. Alright. Shitty for you. Feet first and lying down. Ah, bitch. You guys were nothing, fuckers. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Horses! 
everything all right? Bosses, Joey, Virgilio, you all right in there? I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Soze, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. All right, 313. Call the others. Tell them to come quick, okay? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Hey, but we can't wait for that. We gotta go in now. Forces, we're coming in. It's pain. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Alright. Well, you know what that means. That means quick save, Max. Max Heat. Huh. All these Max puns in this game, I swear. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeesh. I don't know if that's PG. Okay. Uh, can't I just like... I was just gonna say, can't I just bust through here? Jump down. I'm max pain, bitches. I give zero fucks. It's been a while since I've done this, so uh, let's have five real quick. Always makes me feel better about yeah, myself. Something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Ah! 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 Oh, shit. I got hit a lot. Let's do that again. Saves your last two quick saves. That's good. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Damn. More than I'd like, but I'm not gonna bore you guys by doing it over and over again until I do it without getting hit as much as I'd like to, to be honest with you. Uh, can I open any of these boxes? No, what's the fucking point? Why am I allowed in this room? Five before I go into the store. Uh, should I take a painkiller? I don't even fucking know. There's a guy in there. What the? And he just shrugs it off as usual. Oh! So our very popular posters around here. Third floor. 313. Is that where I'm supposed to be going? Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, 
Marky Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. Do you and I, Acer Corporation. Acer? V head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. My lord, there is. Five, five, five. There has been TSSY. Leaves blazing. I gotta remember that. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But my lady, I must. I must. My lord, no. I forbid you. This cannot be. This must not be. But why, my love? Why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you. I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord. posters, man. Be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am. My lord, I am your long-lost sister. He had a gun. I think I shot him. Kind of shot him without even, uh, you know, bothering to find out who he was. There he is. This game just has to fucking surprise you. Ugh. out. I just want to fucking leave. What is this? Like, two vibrating beds? Just in case you wanna... want somebody to join you, apparently. Ow! Fuck. What kind of fucking game developer puts a television that shocks you when you touch it? When all the other TVs in the fucking game. <laughs> Ooh, get get out. Out. Oh my god. Shotgun at point blank. He's fine. He's fine. He's just getting a fucking soda. That's cool. Wait, is this a room? No, why is there exclamation points? I don't know, but I'm fucking saving. Christ. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr <sighs> took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots oh, had been fired. No, I'm being and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed oh. and extremely dangerous. I thought he was a cop. And now the weather. The Look worst winter face. storm in recorded history continues to pounce. Who couldn't love this man? Okay, um... Oh, he was having too much fun. Alright, cool. Let's fucking use that, man. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I missed the show. Okay. <sighs> F five. fucking die. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Thought I was dead there. My health. Shit. I really wish they gave you more painkillers. I found Muerte's room. I'm not fucking going. 
one in there yet. What the hell? Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. That was a fucking stalemate. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, here's what I'm doing. Is that guy dead? Nope, fuck you. Alright, well, time to go get myself killed. Holy shit, look at my health. That found Muerte's room. Alright, I'm still not going in there yet. Dang! Ah! Alright, I came in here with the hopes of finding painkillers. Oh! And I found one. Perfect. Seriously. More health power-ups. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you die. Oh, man. Oh, that was fucking rich. Okay. found Morte's room. I'm not gonna save because the thing is like what? Oh. I don't even know if I'm gonna have to like fight anybody right now. He's gonna shoot again. I mean, Morte had received a letter. Better. Investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Alright. I should really start paying more attention to these cutscenes. Because usually when the cutscenes come on, I tune out. Um, and I should stop that because I just realized I have no fucking idea what's going on in this story. So... As you guys watch these episodes, I'm going to be watching them and try to figure out what the hell is going on in the story. The way I see it, uh, he's a cop, or he was a cop, and then, you know, that changed somehow when his wife and his kid died. Maybe he went, like, rogue or something. And now there's, you know, he's trying to find a lead on the drug thing because, you know, the guys who killed his family were hooked on that drug. I didn't want to know what had happened here. Vampires? It was not a pretty sight. Uh, vampires happened here, Max. Oh, I don't like this. I'm getting a lot. Okay, um, it's perfect time to stop. What's behind this door, and why did I get tons of 
Molotov have cocktails and painkillers. Uh, we'll find out next time on Let's Play Max Payne with Josh Picard. What's behind door number one?